Joe, can you bring up Christian? Oh, hey, hey Christian. Let me rearrange. I was trying to plan it so we can get it. How are you? We're so excited to have you. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here with everyone. I'm. I love the whole artistic everything that we that you all have been doing over the last few weeks, and I'm looking forward to making my own little painting and activity today. So I'm just really excited to be here with y'all. Thank you for having me on. We're so excited to have you. So I know uh, you're a, an award winning author, and Eileen and her mother, uh, the Mullins family, right? Um, they were the ones who told us about you. So I would love for you to share your story with us. Sure. So when I was 15 years old, I decided to create a 501c3 nonprofit called Shining Scars. And a little bit about Shining Scars is that it is a nonprofit for children and teens who have physical or emotional scars, whether it is from accident or trauma or even surgeries. I grew up as a child who had multiple surgeries. Um, I have a nine inch scar on my leg, a seven inch scar on my back and many in between. Um, so I grew up feeling very isolated and I was bullied for the way that I looked and I didn't like who I was as a person. And so as the years went on, I had to go on this journey of self-acceptance and I just wanted to make it a little bit easier on those kids who are going to be going through some of the same emotions and um, obstacles that I went through as a child. And I wanted to be that person that I needed to look up to or that I needed to talk to. So that is why I decided to create my nonprofit organization. And with that came my children's book. I became a published and award-winning author by the time I was 16 years old. And that, yeah, that was Amazing. pretty crazy. Yeah, to still be in high school and here I was becoming an author. And so this is my children's book. It's called Shining Scars. And my little character who I'll share with you all very soon, his name is Eugene. And he goes on his own little journey of self-acceptance and to love who he is as a person and to share who he is with his friends and be proud of his new little scar. So I'm just really excited to be here with you all today. I am always on social media. So if any of you have your very own scar story and want to share, I'll be happy to hear it and even share my own with you. That's amazing and beautiful, and I'm so excited. So I'm going to give you the full screen. You can read the story, and uh, thank you again for coming. Yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you for having me. Like I said, everyone, my name is Christian Leonard. I am the author of this book called Shining Scars. And when I wrote this book, I meant for it just to have a message that children in, um, can have a way to visualize the journey of self-acceptance and what it takes and um, how it impacts people in different ways. And I always wanted the journey to self-acceptance to be something that is easy for children and teens, something that will uh, be a journey that you want to go on, that you want to take that journey of self-acceptance and loving who you are. I think it's really important. So with that, I will begin. Once upon a time, there was a little star named Eugene. Now I'm going to show you guys the pictures too. Little Eugene loved to see how fast he could fly in the nighttime sky. The little star's mom warned him not to go too fast. His mother. She didn't want him to get hurt. But the little star didn't listen to his mom. Like most children. And one day, he flew across the sky too fast and he fell. Now, I always like to ask the kids, what do you think he'll fall on? The little star fell on his head and got a boo-boo. He fell on the moon. He cried to his mom while she held him tight. She looked into his eyes and told him everything will be all right. Yeah. 
She took little Eugene to the Galaxy Hospital, where they took special care. When they were done, Eugene felt better and was happy to go home. There he is with his little band-aid. But Eugene was scared about his new scar and didn't want his friends to know. His mom told him not to worry. His scar would shine bright. After their talk, he wasn't scared anymore. So the little star fell sound asleep that night. When Eugene woke up the next morning, he was so surprised. His little scar shined extra bright. Little Eugene suddenly wasn't afraid of his scar and couldn't wait to show his friends his shining new spot. Eugene's friends asked him lots of questions that day, and he never gave it a thought. He wanted his friends to know everything about his scar, and to them he taught kindness and caring and to see scars in a different light. He taught about how it glows, and he taught about how it shines, and all his little friends said, look at me. And that's the end. Thank you guys so much for hearing my children's book, Shining Scars, and to go on the little journey with Eugene of self-acceptance and love. I hope that if you do have some type of physical or emotional scar, that you will take this opportunity to start your journey on to healing and self-acceptance. And if you already are on that journey, don't be afraid to reach out to me on social media and for a little encouragement or even someone to talk to about your scar story. I'd be happy to hear it and to just give you any encouragement and support that you may need. Now, I also do take donations for my children's books, so that way I can get it donated to the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, especially the one in my state of West Virginia and Morgantown. So if you guys would like to donate to get a book to a child, just reach out to me and I will give you the information that you need for that. Now, I hope that you guys really enjoy the artistic journey that you're getting ready to start on with Miss Denise, and hopefully I'll talk to you all soon. And Christian, I, that was amazing. and. Um, do you, I have a question. So do you feel when you were in high school and uh, your book getting published, do you think that the other kids, your classmates were more accepting of you? Honestly, they weren't. They thought I was a very strange student <laughs> because I wasn't necessarily focused on the football games and the athletics and, you know, things that were going on in my school. While I did love those opportunities that my high school uh, gave to me, I was still really focused on my nonprofit and, to getting my message out to out there to those who really needed it. So that is something that I've been focusing on since I was 15. That's going to be almost 10 years now. So that's wow. kind of telling on my age a little bit, but <laughs> it has always been a dream of mine to get my book into every children's hospital that there is in the country. And that's a lot. And those are a lot of children who need to hear the story of Eugene and to go start on their journey of self-acceptance. So I will, continue to do that and to strive to be able to get my book to them and my message to them as well. So, and just thank you so much for this, you know, and if any, any of the audiences wanting to maybe do something pretty incredible to give back to their community and stuff, and they want to know how to get started or anything like that, I'd be happy to talk to whoever um, and just help them in any way that I can. And maybe uh, when we're done, you can post a link at this event. A lot of times people under the comments post links and photos as well so that everyone that comes to the video can see it. And so that would be amazing. Um, I was going to tell you something else. My other question for you is, do you have any um, ambition to write another book? So I have been thinking about it a little bit. Um, one of the things that I really would like to do with my book before I release another would to get it translated in other languages. My mm -hmm. book has been able to travel to almost 30 countries now. And wow. so, yes. 
So that is very, very exciting. And I work with other nonprofit organizations too to make that happen, to get my book to those families who need it in other places across the globe. So something that I would really like to do is to get my book translated into different languages and to have masses um, shipped out to that country specifically. So that's something on my list and on my goals that I'd like to get done before I release another book, just so that way that maybe they can come as a package deal in those translated languages. That's fantastic. And the kids a lot of times have been creating their artwork and paying it forward by sending it to various hospitals and nursing homes. Please, so maybe today we could dedicate it to a children's hospital, you yeah. know, uh, in their community or, you know, if you want to recommend a hospital that you work with that know, you know, that they already have your story, uh, that would be great so that they understand, you know, the artwork. Uh, but maybe again, you could comment or tell us now if you have any recommendations. So I work uh, closely with the Children's Medical Network Hospital here in Morgantown, West Virginia. There are many families that I've been able to bond with and get very close with throughout the years um, since I first started on this journey. Um, one of the actually children, she was a child whenever I met her. Now she's 20. She just had her 20th birthday yesterday. So what's her I, name? Her name is Erin. So hello, Erin. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, wait, that's too much birthday wow. celebration right there. <laughs> that's a celebration for Aaron. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, so that is the one hospital that I uh, make the most visits to. I've also been able to make visits to various hospitals across the country. Um, so honestly, if you all ha have it in your heart to donate your um, artwork today to the Children's Miracle Network Hospital in your community, that's what I would recommend. Reach out to those kids who are already there who you know, might be missing out on going to school or graduation or anything like that. And just to help them smile, um, I think is really, really important. Well, you made us smile for sure. And you really made my day and warmed my heart. And I know you have another meeting, but I'm going to work on Eugene with the kids. And uh, if you have a chance to draw with us, we'd love to see a photo or anything that you create. And again, we, your time is precious and we we're so thankful. Okay, thank you so much for having me. Thank, thank you guys you. so much. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, you guys, you saw my makeshift studio. I was <laughs> I was running around setting up, trying to get ready. My easel just flipped over full of duct tape. See, I told you behind the scenes it's a little messy. I wasn't sure exactly how to set up the screen with both of us on it. Uh, so I'm not used to like sharing my screen. So now we're gonna do it this way since my other one collapsed. We're gonna be we're gonna be creative today. We're gonna to think outside the box and do it different. So, all right, we're gonna do Eugene today. Now, what I did have set up that's all over the floor was if you guys want to do Starry Night, if you want to do a different background, I'm gonna base mine on the book. So I'm gonna create Eugene. I'm gonna create a Starry Night with the moon. But again, change yours the way you want to do it. If you want to create a scar in a different place if you you know however you want to create it but I'm going to show you a couple others so you guys know we've done it before if you have joined us in the past we did starry night in the past so if you want to do a version of starry night you can do that if you want to do a starry night this is the Cleveland skyline with Lake Erie so again you can do something like that or you can create Eugene which is what I'm going to do so I'm going to use canvas. I'm going to use a black marker so you can see it on the screen. And we're going to start with, well, I'll play a song after I get started. So let's start, let's start with Eugene, okay? And it's pretty easy. That's why I'm not even going to do a sloppy copy today. Again, if I was at home, you know, by myself, I would be using pencil. I'm using black marker so you can see it from far away. And I'm going to start, I know what I wanted to ask her. I wanted to ask her how she named him Eugene. You know how we always name our stuff? How did she come up with Eugene? Maybe she can tell us later. Someone can chat that in the room, chat that question. Maybe she's still watching. So there's the eyes. And you don't have to make yours look like Eugene. Let's give him a scar. What an inspiration. She wrote that story at the age, Christian wrote that story at the age of 15 in high school and became an award-winning author by the age of 16. 
that's not what I was doing when I was 15 years old. I'll just say that much. So that's an amazing story. All right, so there's Eugene. And again, you guys don't have to keep up with me. Now I'm going to do Alexa, play. Sh I think it's Shining Star by Madonna. Oh, Lucky Star. <laughs> Alexa, play Lucky Star by Madonna. I'm thinking of a Shining Star. Sorry, guys. All right. Then I'm going to do a big crescent moon up here. And again, you could do yours totally different. Tonight might even be the full moon. So if you want to make a full moon, make a full moon. Now, around the sky, I'm just going to add more stars. And you could be using any art supplies that you have. Now, normally, I set up, I duct tape everything together so it doesn't fall over when I bump into it. And today, I was running around till the very last minute, and I didn't have a tape, a time to like tape it all together. So what do I do? I bump into it, and it all falls over. Eh, that's all right. We just go with the flow. So it's a cold day here in Cleveland, Ohio. It's cloudy. It's about 42 degrees. One would not know it was May. You could add eyelashes if you want to be creative and add some eyelashes. You could add an eyebrow, whatever you want. Again, you can make it look however you want. You can do it like Starry Night. You can make it simple. I'm not going to color in the eyes black. They're going to be black, but if you want, I'll color them in. They're so big. So what will happen is, is I paint over it, it'll smear. But again, you could be using marker crayons, color pencils, oil pastels. If it's nice where you are, you could be outside using sidewalk chalk. All right, I'm going to let you guys catch up for a minute. So Joe has some pictures from the last few days. Yesterday we had so much information from the Andy Warhol Museum. Joe, let's show the prints that we got from the uh, Andy Warhol Museum. Yesterday we, these are just some of the prints that we got from yesterday. Awesome. So yesterday, again, we went, we had a visitor from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Andy Warhol Museum, which was really fun. And uh, I, it was amazing that they came on and they, they did the Rorschach prints with us and taught us some information about Andy Warhol, the pop artist. Uh, he was really famous in the 60s and 70s and from Pittsburgh, but he did most of his stuff in New York City and hung out with a lot of other famous artists. And, and he was famous. He wasn't like Van Gogh where he didn't make any money. I mean, he was very popular and made a lot of money. So that's about Andy Warhol. And you know what? Monday, we also have a visiting artist. She is a best-selling author. She's a principal in Cleveland, Ohio. And she was a teacher with me uh, in Cleveland when we were both teachers. So I'm super excited. Her name is Michelle Person, and she will be on reading her story on Monday. And I already posted the event, so you can look for it on Facebook. It'll also go live on YouTube as well. All of this stuff is recorded, so you can watch it later. All right, so let's just jump right in. I like to paint from light to dark, so I'm going to do my dark background later. Let's start with Eugene. So I'm just going to do Eugene Yellow. I use acrylic paint, because I love, and I'm, I'm just going to paint right over his face. I'll go back over it later once it's a little bit dry. And I'm using acrylic paint, but you can still see his face through it. I'll just darken it back up later. <gasps> Oops. Just got a big blob of yellow on my easel. So I'm painting Eugene in. And it's also interesting that she made a boy character, right? She named him Eugene. Why did she make a boy star instead of a girl star? I'm just curious, you know, what inspires someone? And what's interesting is he shined brighter after he had his scar. 
which is really interesting. And then I have um, a little bit of a different yellow. It's a macaroni and cheese yellow. So it's like a golden yellow orange, just to make them a little bit different. But again, you can use anything you want. If you want to make yours different, you can mix a little orange in it. You can make them lighter by mixing some white and yellow together. I remember one of my really bad scars from, I was in third grade and we had a driveway that was very big and steep and long. So it was like this giant hill. And I love riding my bike down that big giant hill. And my mother kept telling me not to do that. Don't ride your bike down the hill, the driveway hill. And I did, and one day I was going to my friend's pool and I had a towel over the handlebars of my bicycle and I rode down the driveway and at the end of the driveway there was a bunch of gravel and my towel got stuck in my wheel, spun out on the gravel, I totally slid sideways, tore up my leg and my arm. I still, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I had a huge scar, can you guys see that on the screen? On my arm from wiping out down the driveway. And when I was reading the story, now no one made fun of me that I remember. I don't remember being, I remember just being traumatized because I was mostly afraid to go tell my mom. I was like, oh my God, I just wiped out at the bottom of the driveway. I'm gushing blood and I'm so afraid to go tell my mom that I rode my bike down the driveway and I wiped out and I got hurt. Nothing broke. And she just, you know, fixed me up. Didn't get mad at me, just fixed me up. That's probably the worst scar I ever got. So I can relate to this story, even at my age, and I'm not gonna reveal what that is, but I'm gonna tell you it was a long time ago, and I still remember it. Now I'm gonna do my, all I did was put some white paint on my brush, and I'm gonna do my moon. So I had a little bit of yellow still on my brush, and I'm just gonna make it like a light yellow so it looks a little bit different than the stars. I don't want to make it match too much. Maybe I'll scoop up a little bit more white. You can make it pure white if you want to, but if I did, you guys really wouldn't see anything on the camera. So Monday when Michelle Person comes on and she's going to really be talking about um, diversity and she created these books, especially as a teacher and teaching in Cleveland, we had a, a very diverse population of students and she found that there were not a lot of books involving uh, diversity with students. So uh, she wanted to create books that where the kids look like her, the same skin color as her. And she, that's what she do. She created her own books and they're bestsellers on Amazon and you can find her books on Amazon. So again, she'll be reading her book to us on Monday and then we're going to create self portraits. You can use anything that you have. But if, and again, you can do it abstract, but I would like you to try to find a color as close to your skin as possible, whether it's paint or crayon or uh, color pencil. So that's what we're going to be doing on Monday. I will teach you guys the basic format on how to teach, uh, a, uh, how to break up your face with the Hansen symmetry and to create a self portrait after we read the story. All right. So now I'm going to do my background and I'm going to do blue. Now, again, you can use any blue that you want to. If I bump into my wet yellow moon or my yellow, and it looks really black on the screen, but it's navy blue, and I'll lighten it up with some lighter blue just so it doesn't. And you can do it black. I'm just trying to make it look like the artwork in the book. But if I bumped into the yellow, I would get green in my sky. And I don't want green in my sky. I'm just going to scoop up some lighter blue so you can tell that it's a blue sky. When we first started doing this eight weeks ago, unbelievable, I would always say to write down an I wonder question, which I really think is a great way to write a journal. I, each day you can wonder something else because I wonder stuff all day long. I wonder why Eugene is named Eugene. 
I wonder why Eugene, why Christian, Christian picked a boy. I wonder. Um, I wonder a lot of things. But I, I love the idea of sending your artwork to a hospital, especially a hospital that has this book, because that would be great for the kids to know the artwork, you know, that you're creating an artwork for them. And it could be a get well artwork. You can write get well on here, or you could write get well, and then you can write the name of the story that you got it from. I, I Googled this to see, and there are teachers who read this story on YouTube. Oh, thank you. That's thank you for answering. Oh, that's awesome that she's listening. So I hope you guys were able to read that. Family friend, that's wow, he must feel so privileged. That's amazing. All right, I hope Alexa played. Lucky star. And you my lucky star. Cause you shine on me wherever you are. You could, you know, you could make Eugene for your mom for Mother's Day. You could make Eugene for your teacher for Teacher Appreciation Day. Maybe your teacher will get the story. I think this would be a great book for a classroom. I think it's a great book for a hospital as well. But I think a lot of kids like me get scars and they're not in the hospital. I didn't go to the hospital. My mom fixed me up. And again, I didn't have a seven inch scar. I, I, I really kind of ripped up my arm and my leg. I still have a big one on my knee, scar on my knee, but I didn't go to the hospital. But what an inspiration. Maybe it inspires you to write your own story. You can write a kid's story, you can write an adult story. I think you could write a story about COVID your experience with COVID. My, you know, when I started doing this, it was all about, you know, use it or lose it, right? I could have been streaming every show on Netflix and watched every show on that I could get my hands on, but I'm pretty sure that would not have made me a better person. Okay? I don't think it would have kept my painting skills active and, I don't think it would have sharpened my brain. It would maybe a couch potato. And again, I like to watch shows on TV, but I don't like to do it all day long. I like to do stuff that I feel helps me improve. So I like to read, I like to draw, I like to paint, and I love to help others. And I feel that this is a God-given talent that I was blessed with, and I love to share it with others. So Mike DeWine, who's our governor of Ohio, announced yesterday that restaurants will be opening up on May 21st. So some of my jobs have been rescheduled for June with social distancing. So it's going to be interesting uh, if you are in the Cleveland area. I'll be doing a couple different projects that you can find on my Facebook page. The tickets will be limited because, again, we're going to allow less people in so that we can do social distancing. But those will take place in June. And then I'll start up private parties again. So I do private parties for people, whether it's in person and I come to you or wherever your event is, or I'm doing Zoom parties. Benjamin's is today. I know Benjamin is excited. Uh, I'm doing Zoom parties online. And then I just have a variety of, you know, I don't just do canvas painting. I do wood and glass and beach glass and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you have not gone to my website, I'm Artist at Heart Paint Party. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my Facebook page. Artist at Heart Paint Party on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. My website is artistatheart.org.
Pressure's coming. Maybe you do a star for everyone in your family. Maybe you do a star, you know, with your mom for Mother's Day. If you're new on here, we have about 40 videos at least. So we've been doing 40 plus, 43, I believe, videos that are on there, including Starry Night by Van Gogh. So if you go back again on YouTube or on the Facebook page, you can find all of the recordings from the last eight weeks. Our very first cl class was broadcast on March 16th. And if you guys are on Facebook, I love reviews. There's a tab on Facebook that allows you to review me. You can also upload photos. You can check in on Facebook. Just hit the check in button and upload your photo. You can also uh, message me, tag me, email me. Again, my email is on my website, artistatheart.org. And if you want, you could put those like white wispy lines to make it look like a shooting star where Eugene is. Again, you could, you know, add those like white wispy lines in there. Remember when he was running around the sky and he ran right into the moon? I wonder how old Eugene is. That's another question. How old was Eugene when he ran into that moon, right into the tail of the moon? Hmm. All right, I'll do the faces in black. Joe's gonna put up a StreamYard link. You guys, when you see that StreamYard link, you click on the link. If you wanna come on the screen, you won't come on right away. You'll go into the green room, which is the waiting room. And Joe will bring you on the screen if you guys wanna say your age, your name, where you're from. Show us how far you are. And if you're not that far, you want to do it later, that's great too. If you want to show us something. Oh, you know what else we could do, Joe? Joe, show them the artwork from the Teacher Appreciation Day and Mother's Day. I didn't do it yesterday, you guys, because we were so busy with the Andy Warhol Museum. But a couple days ago, we did Teacher Appreciation and, and, and uh, Mother's Day. Joe, you want to show up those pictures? Oh, there's some. Go ahead. Awesome, you guys did a great job with that. I'm sure your teachers loved it. I'm sure your mother's gonna love it on Sunday. Let's do Eugene over here. All right, go ahead, bring him up. Hey! hey. Here it is. That looks great. And then I'm just going to do the eyes, and I'm so excited for today. Yeah, me too. I'm excited too. You did an awesome job on your teacher appreciation artwork. Thank you. You got rid of your mohawk. <laughs> I'll see you Bye. later. Bye. Hi, Brianna. This is mine. Oh, cute. Thank you. 
Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye. Hi, Laura. Oh, that looks great. Thanks, Laura. Hey, Ava. Hello. Um, I'm from Elmhurst, Illinois. And so far, this is my artwork of Eugene. I'm planning to do, um, I think it's like water resistance where you put water on here and it would like mix, but it doesn't go on to here. Right. Um, I'm going to try and do that to make a sky. I was planning to do it with Baby Yoda over here. So oh, whatever. <laughs> here. Um, also, I loved yesterday's Andy Warhol prints. I have like 10 of them already. My favorite one, hold on shortly, is, where is it? Oh, I'll just take this one. This, I named it the spider. Oh, cool. Because it sort of looks like, oh, black. wait, yeah. Very cool, thank you. You're welcome, thank you for doing all of this. You're welcome. Hi, this is my painting so far. This is my painting so far. Oh, nice. And that's what it looks like. I love it. Thank you. And my favorite of the Andy Warhol has to be this one. It looks like a butterfly, so I made it into a butterfly. Very nice. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Kylie and Jaden. This is mine. I made Eugene and I made his mother. That looks great. <laughs> Thank you. This is mine. Up there. I love it. I love the texture on the moon. Um, and this is my. Oh, Coco. We came out great. Yeah, thank good. you. Thank you. Okay, you guys Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us. Bye, girls. Hi, Leona. I love the texture on the moon. Oh. Oh, I love that. Leona, that's so creative. Thank you. Oh, go go. Cute. Leona, I want a picture of that, okay? When you're done, send me a picture, okay? Hi. That was cool. The face mask and the... Hi. Hi. Oh, Hello. that's so cute. Good job on you, Jean. Mm. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing this. Bye. Bye. Hi, Ivan and Coral. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is mine so far. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is mine. Oh, very nice. I'm gonna put all around it this kind of blue, and okay. that's my gel marker. That's my gel marker, and that's just marker. Well, that's. Just marker, but blue, yeah. And then there's that little guy. Mommy helped me because I can't make it. I love it. Thank you. And then the Thank moon. You. The moon's upside down. Thank you for doing Bye. this. Bye. Love you. You're welcome. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Hi, Reagan. Thanks, Reagan. Bye. I like your shirt. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hi, this is mine. Mommy, did I, did I even know what to say? Um, 
I, I, I'm stuck for a second at my money. Okay. <laughs> I didn't make anything. That's okay. <laughs> Except. That's great. I didn't make it. I didn't make my it. My mom is Except. my teacher. I didn't make anything except this. And this. It says my Ooh. name on it. Cool. C -E -E. Well, Mrs. Larry, a happy teacher appreciation week. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, you guys. Thanks for doing this. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you for doing this. It's You're great. welcome. Bye, you guys. Happy Mother's Day. Hi. Hi. Oh, that looks really nice. I love how you added the little white dots to the little baby stars in the sky. That looks really good. I'm going to do that. See how she put the little tiny dots on there? Awesome. Thank you. Hi, Brianna. This is my finished product. Oh, I like how it's glowing. I like how you made them glow like that. That looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Good idea. See, I'm getting ideas from you guys. Hi, Isabella. Hi. This is my painting so far of Eugene. Nice. I like how you made him glow, too. I got to do that. You. Yeah, that looks great. Thank you. And I'm, and I'm going to give it to my guidance teacher. Oh. Um, Cool Freedom Elementary because I think she'd like it. Oh, that's awesome. Good idea. Thanks, Isabella. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Ellie. Hey. Um, this is my shining scars. That looks great. And I just did the starry night. And I'm going to have my mom take a picture of this and give it to a friend and give the book to her because she's had cancer in the past. So I'm going to give it to her to show it's okay to have cancer. That's nice. It'll make her feel good, right? Mm -hmm. That's very nice. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, bye. bye. Uh, you guys inspired me just to do a couple more things. First of all, I want to finish this start because he looks funny. So I'm just going to finish outlining it. You see them better? Okay, now what else could I do? I could dip the handle of the brush in white paint and then put those little white sparkling stars on. So just like little baby stars. You can bring Reagan back on. Hey, Reagan. Hi. Um, last time I don't think my sound was working, but the song is We Ride the Stars from The Greatest Showman. Wait, what's the song? Rewrite the Stars from The Greatest Showman. Rewrite the Stars? Uh-huh. Alexa, play. Rewrite the Stars from The Greatest Showman. Did I get it right? Thank you, honey. Bye. Bye. That's a good song. So, again, I'm just using the handle of the brush to scatter some stars in the sky. Alexa, oh, play. Rewrite the stars. Hey, Reagan. Oh, sorry. Hello. Um, this is mine so far. That looks great. Thank you for doing this every day. So I have something to look forward to. And um, these are mine from oh. uh, yesterday. My favorites. Wow. That's a <laughs> I'll play around that one. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Send me pictures. I will. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm back. Hi. Um, my name is Lindsay and I'm from Mount Lookout, West Virginia, and that's my That looks really nice. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Hi. 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 Yeah. This is my cat. My name is Devil. Thank you. Thank you, Adriana. And here's a vase I painted to look like Mexico. Oh, wow. Are you from Mexico? Uh, you from Mexico? Oh, she didn't answer. That's okay. I don't know if she heard me. 
All right. So you get the idea. I just wanted to finish. How about I finish a couple of the faces and then we're done for today. I just want you guys to have a wonderful weekend. Hopefully the teachers had a good week for teacher appreciation. And I hope you guys do something really special for your mother. Like make her something. Be kind. Rub her feet. Whatever things she likes. Doesn't have to cost any money. Just do something kind for your mom. And I wanted to show you guys. I know I didn't talk about it yesterday. Oh, hi, Adriana. Um, no, I'm not from Mexico, but my mom is from Oaxaca, Mexico. Very nice. Thank Bye. you. Bye, honey. All right. My mom Thank is you. a teacher, so this would be like a good thing for my mom. And then I have a chat with like my a teacher, my third grade teacher group, and then I sent it to them. Like I loaded it onto the desktop and then put it in the chat and then I said happy teacher appreciation week. What a great idea. Thank you. That's a great idea. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Hi Joey and Rose. Hello. Hi. A teacher my third grade teacher group. Um wanna show us your artwork? Yeah. Um and this is mine so far. Those are great. Thank you. So you guys, if you're on Facebook, you can check in with your pictures. Okay? Check in and send me your pictures when they're done. Or you can also, like, when you under the video, there's comments. If people put their pictures in there, and then everyone that watches can see your pictures. Okay? Okay. Thanks, guys. We love doing this. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you for doing it with me. Hi, Emma and Bella. Hi. Hi. This is my um, and it it's a new sketchbook because I ran out of paper in the old one. And and this is mine. I used pastel and then I smeared it all with oil, so it looks like a painting. I love it. I love how it looks and like it's very nice. Teacher Appreciation Week. We made you this. Oh, oh, I and love I my god. This. That you're the best. Thank you, Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you're gonna you. make me cry. I haven't oh, cried in a while. Don't make me cry today. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was amazing. Okay, if you guys go back to the beginning early on, I cur you know, I got choked up a lot, just like I just got choked up now. So what I wanted to show you was my Rorschach print from yesterday, okay? And I did a giant one, so it showed up on the screen. What do you think it looks like? We were, this is what we were doing yesterday. I see, I want to give you guys a minute. Do you see what I see? You know what I see? I see a giraffe. Do you guys see a giraffe? When I, I didn't mean to make a giraffe. I was doing a Rorschach print. And if you didn't do it, we did it yesterday. But I see a giraffe. So, uh, again, what a great way to end our week. We're going to have another fabulous week next week. Thank you guys so much for joining me for just everything that you've done. God bless you all. Thank you. Have an amazing weekend and have a great Mother's Day. Okay. And I will see you guys again on Monday. Bye. Thank you.